this the first time since the bye week where you kind of looked like you were yourself? Is that how you felt? Yeah, um, just during the week I felt great. Um, you know, I didn't want to rush it. You know, I know it was a long season, so just wanted to take my time, um, just get better every week, and, and finally they cut me loose this week. I felt great, and, um, and just, just felt great helping the team out really. Can you talk about the team's response to those first two turnovers, what you saw out of the offense after that moment? Yeah, I think we handled it really well. I think, um, you know, we knew that, that we, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot there a couple times, but um, it really just came down to one play at a time, you know, do your job, do it, do it the right way, and, uh, and just relax, too, you know. There's so much stuff going on. Just take your time, relax, and, and, um, and I think we did it. Troy, what's your mindset on third down? Uh, you have no control whether the ball's coming to you or not. What? Um, really just win. Um, <laughs> Coach gives me, you know, a bunch of freedom out there just to, um, and really gives me, you know, the best uh, advantage I can. So, um, you know, I expect to win. I want, you know, I want to, um, you know, make a big play for those guys. So. Troy, what goes into the connection you've built with Alex Winterbrook over the years now? Yeah, just, um, I think the big two things are just trust and timing. I think it's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of what I do is over the middle, and <clears throat> there's a lot of traffic over there. You know, uh, you know, you, you expect to get hit, things like that. So, um, a lot of trust goes into that. And uh, you know, I think we've done a great job. We had a great week this week. Uh, really, all the receivers. So, um, I think that goes into a huge just having a big week. You mentioned the freedom that you have that the offense gives you. Are there a lot of option runs where you and Alex just sort of have to see the same thing and run the same route? Um, not necessarily. A lot. Of, a lot of what we do is just uh, coverage based. So. Um, you know, if it's covered two, if it's covered three, um, just those little tweaks that I got to make and, and, and adjustments. Um, uh, that that's really what uh, that comes on. Did you have to say anything to him, or do you kind of know he's pretty calm right after the fact? No, he, um, you, you know, just the mental um, aspect of the game. I think he does a tremendous job of just um, having that next play mentality. Um, you know, I think I think he trusts the guys. We trust him and. You know, we, and we know he's going to come back strong. So, um, yeah, we just think about the next play control, what you can, you know, let that go. So I think he does a great job. Can you teach that, like, as a, as a receiver, like, say you have a drop or something, the next play, can you teach that to a quarterback, or is that natural? Um, you, I would say yes and no. I think a lot of us, you know, some of it's natural, but, um, you know, also some of it you kind of talk yourself down. Um, and I don't think you could, you know, not anyone else can. I think, you you know, you have to be the one to, uh, you know, understand, like, okay, you know, you're going to get another shot at it. But, um, so yeah, that's it, both. Thanks, Troy. Yep. Yeah. Close it. Mm -hmm. Close it. Yeah. In, in a game like this, when you get seven catches and a lot of balls your way, is it that you're early in the progression and he's getting that early, or is it just sort of when Alex goes through his progression, you just happen to be open? Um, both. You know, um, some sometimes you know some plays he starts with the progression starts with a tight end, sometimes it doesn't. So. I'm um, just doing the best I can to get open and give him a throw. I think that's most important. You've probably been asked this already, but you said early in the week that you were able to practice at full speed. Is, is that, did that just carry over today? Um, it, was it that simple or was there more to it? Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, you gotta, we got to trust it during practice. We're going to trust it in the game. Okay. And um, I think that that was the biggest key this week. Um, you know, I wanted to be out there in the past weeks, but uh, you know, I also wanted to be smart and didn't want to do anything that hurt me down the road. So, um, just being you know on the same page early in the week and being able to make adjustments, uh, it makes a huge difference. What was more frustrating, having to miss the game or playing against Purdue and probably not being at 100 uh, percent? Missing the game, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, I love being out there. You know, you know, even if I'm not getting the ball, just helping those guys out any way I can. Injury related, and how much was them doing stuff to take you? Um, yeah, both. I would say, uh, you know, obviously the game plan called for, uh, you know, in different openings. So, you know, obviously that has played, you know, a big part in it. And then um, just working my way back too also did. So. Is it safe to say, in you and Alex, in particular on third down? You're, you're always talk about being on the same page, that you guys know, he knows where you're going and, and he knows where to put the ball to you. Yeah, um, you know, every, you know, third down and red zone, everything happens a little quicker, everything. Um, you know, there's a blitz, there's this, there's that, there's always stuff going on, you don't know what they're going to be in, so um, I think everything needs to be a little finer on third down. You know, certain sports guys want the ball in certain situations. When it's third down, do you tell him, give me the ball if I'm open? Um, I don't tell him that, no. But, uh, Does he know? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I want to make a play whenever I can, I think, so. Troy, you hobbled a little last week um, off the leg, and uh, what would you play at last week to 
Uh, I, I don't know. I couldn't give you a percentage. Um, just working my way back, I think. Uh, you know, I wasn't 100% last week. Did you feel, obviously, felt more comfortable going through the week today? Did you kind of feel like this was going to be a, kind of a much better health wise performance for you? I did, yeah. I felt great. Um, you know, we had a great week of practice. Uh, I did every, really the full practice for the first time since my injury. So, um, yeah, it just felt great. Um, you know, positive thoughts and things like that. Is great 100% this week? Yeah. Okay. That's it, about 100%. When, when Alex gets in trouble, throws an interception, and he has this uncanny knack to come back and be even stronger, what's that like to see from your quarterback? Um, you know, that's, that's huge. I mean, that, that is something you can't teach. Um, that You know, that's something that's in your own head. And, and for him to be able to do that is really, um, you know, you see some of the greatest athletes being able to do that. You look at that, uh, having that trait. So that's really cool, I think, um, just being able to eliminate that and, and think about the next play. Uh, you know, I think that's that's a really great trade he has. And the defense came up huge. How nice is it? You're probably sitting on the bench.